Welcome back, my friends, to another unsolicited and uneducated football analysis by none other than your friend David Valentin. The topic today is finally the Will family has taken over full ownership of Orlando City. And I am super excited about that because they are bringing what has been lacking in our football club forever. Money. Green, hard cash. Do you understand what I'm talking about? The stuff that you give people and they give you things you want. That's what we've been missing. I want to thank Flavio Augusto da Silva and uh, all our minority uh, owners, all 11 of them. I want to thank them for making the, re uh, uh, the dream that our club could exist, making it a reality. Starting with the Rawlings, who had a dream of creating a team out of nothing, a team that was born at a kitchen table. And today, we not only do we have a stadium, do we have a men's team, a women's team, a reserves, an academy. Not only do we have a team that, for better or worse, that has made us cry for joy or anger, that has crushed our hearts and taken us to the stratosphere with silverware, we have a team today. Eleven seasons in the making. We've been in MLS. It hasn't been a joyful ride. But part of it has to be blamed on the fact that we lacked, you guessed it, money. Now, we were crying and kicking and screaming because we were seeing other clubs like Atlanta or Miami come into the league with tons of cash. Now, cash, my friends, is not a guaranteed or a guarantee that things are going to go good. Look at what happened in Miami. It, there's a problem. They keep throwing money at it, and it just gets worse and worse and worse and worse. Because the in the triangle of success, I learned, I learned this in business school, the triangle of success, you have to have good management. You have to have money. See the theme here? You have to have money. And you, then you have to have talent. So in this case, in football, soccer, you need talent, players, managers. Then you have to have good administration. They got the CEO from the CEO all the way down, from the club president all the way down to the guy that decides what underwear the players are going to uh, wear that day. And then say it with me. You need money. You need cash. Okay? There's no successful organization out there that achieves their goals, meet the metrics, if you fail to, what? Make money. See, the internet socialist of the world will make you think that making profit, that making money is a bad thing. If money is not important, I want to I want you to I want to see you live without it, as uh, in that beautiful song by uh, Silver Chair, uh, back in the nineties, right? Um, if money is not important, then work for free. If money is not important, pay for your food today with IOUs. Yes, try doing that. So. This is the problem with a lot of people in our fan base. This is why they don't like me. This is why they don't like me. This is why they, they're always collecting signatures. Please, front office, prevent this man from showing up. Let's collect more uh, signatures so he can get kicked out of Twitter for the sixth time. Let's go and, and try to harass them at his seats. This is why. Because I don't play your stupid games, okay? I am realistic. I'm a businessman, guys. All right? In my career, I uh, get paid to deliver. To deliver clients, to deliver cash, to deliver business. That's what I do for a living. In a very high-demanding healthcare industry, I am the best of the best. You better believe it. That's my customers. They love me. 
I provide a service at an affordable price, and I make it I make it happen. Well, here, my friends, Orlando City has failed for years to deliver at first a good product. We can all agree on that, and at an at a affordable price. We can all agree on that. But you know what? When you're winning in sports, when you're delivering the great thrills, when you're signing the big names that cost money, thank you for all you guys that uh, scream that at your screen. It costs money to do that. It costs money to do that. And people do not mind to pay for that. My friends that follow Atlanta United in 2018, in 2018, 18, sorry, 2018, they were paying exorbitant prices for their seats and their merch, and they were handed a trophy. Okay, my friends that follow teams that are successful outside of the United States or in the United States, I never hear them complaining about what's going on, how much they have to pay, because success costs, say it with me, money. So now let's go back to the Wilf family, billionaires, self-made billionaires, okay? This family came to the United States as Holocaust survivors, okay? Penniless, with horrors to tell. But instead of getting in a corner and pouting, they came to the land of opportunity, the country that most of you hate, but I never see you leave. And guess what? They made themselves billionaires, and they want to buy our club, and they did. And more so, they love the game of football, soccer. That's right. So we have an engaged ownership with, let's say it again, money that want to invest here. And everything that we hear so far, everything that we hear from people that know these folks is that they are going to invest money into the academy, into the clubs, into the into the players that we have, into the facility. Uh, you know, as a season ticket holder, I got the, uh, uh, the the questionnaire of things that I would like to be improved, the things that I hated, et cetera, et cetera. And I was very honest because I cannot be angry at... Uh, Orlando City, if they don't do the things I want, if I don't tell them what they are. So instead of instead of tweeting your friends about crap they can't do nothing about, how about let's tweet the team. Let's engage the, t- the team in social media. If you're a season ticket holder, let's call our ticket rep and say, hey, Joe Blow, who never answers my calls because the old uh, rep that I had was much better than you. Um, can you please pass this information down to whoever needs to hear this? I I think that they can appreciate that. As, as a matter of fact, the, the director of marketing for Orlando City has a Twitter account. You can go ahead and, 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 and research. So we have to do that. We have to let them what we want. That you are angry that the divorce family is involved in the new ownership with a minority stake that we already are being told they uh, have no voting rights, they have no voice, they're not involved in uh, operations or marketing or anything like that. Well, you know, that's a story for another day. No, we're going to talk about that right now. I, I, I first of all think that their management of the Orlando Magic has been disastrous. But that's a different league with different needs, different uh, player team dynamics, okay? Uh, but let's not uh, cover this one with one hand. They purchased the Orlando Solar Bears, a minority hockey team here affiliated uh, with the two-time back-to-back uh, NHL champions, Stanley Cup champions. And uh, that club was almost about to fold. They saw a need, they saw that people were coming to the games, they bought it. So I do not see their involvement with Orlando City as a bad thing as long as all they're bringing to the table is money, right? Thank you. You're, you guys are catching on. Business is business, okay? 
So what I would like to tell the Will, the Will family, who, by the way, I'm familiar with through their involvement in uh, Jewish charities. As you guys know, I'm part of the tribe. I'm just hiding my horns on my tail very good today. Um, well, the point of all this, my friends, is that we need to be supportive. I see people already crapping out on this. Oh, man. You realize that Flavio was broke? Do you realize that this was the best case scenario to be bought by people who are committed, who want to be here, who want to support a club, who wants us to be champions? I am telling you right now because I'm taking screenshots of all of you complaining online. When we win an MLS Cup, I'm going to be searching you and Posting your tweets today and embarrassing you. That's what I'm going to do. I don't care who bought us. I'm going to be honest with you. If they have money and if they're going to grant me a championship, that's all I care. That's it. That's it. I am fed up. I'm tired of losing. I am tired of losing. Okay? I am tired of losing. I don't want to lose anymore. I want to win. You know why we won in USL? Because we spend more money, four times more money than the other clubs. We brought players three or four divisions in talent ahead of what the competition had. We scored tons of goals. We won tons of games. We lifted five, 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 five regular season championship trophies. No, actually four. My bad. No, three. Yeah, three. And two of those... Trophies were league trophies. So five, five, yes, five, five, five trophies. And a ton of individual awards and broke records. Records in attendance and records in this. Let's go back to that. But what is it going to take to get there? That's right. You said it. Money. So let's be supportive. Let's stop being idiots. And let's support our club. After all, players, managers, and staff come and go. The supporter remains. I have been on my seat for 11 seasons, and I don't plan to go anywhere else. But the important thing that we need to learn, my friends, is let's be patient. Let's watch. Let's let, let, let's let these people do their thing. And in a couple of years, it doesn't work out. Then we can express our dis disbelief or our anger or whatever. But we have to allow them. To make things. Okay? Let's not start screaming and jumping off the rooftops. So with that said, Obrigado, Flavio. You have been a fantastic owner. You make the dream come true. You love football. I know you have said that although now you are no longer part of Orlando City, that you will remain a, a fan and a friend. And I believe you. I know the type of person you are. So, thank you. Thank you from this fan uh, who appreciates everything you've done. And I had an opportunity to talk to you once. And I understand uh, how much you love this club and uh, in this city and this game. And uh, thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, sad that under your leadership, we were unable to crown ourselves champion in MLS. But um, sometimes leaders are like Moses. And sometimes those leaders just take us to the shores of the Jordan. And it's somebody else who takes over, just like Joshua took over from Moses, and crosses into the promised land to reap the rewards. Thank you very much for listening to this 14 minutes. But I think some of you needed to hear that. Vamos Orlando.